Coach, you talked a lot about just the physicality aspect of this team going forward. Over the last, I guess, six, seven weeks, there's been a number of you know, scuffles, but it seems like, as you can tell, you pretty much enjoy that. How have you seen those guys take that part of the game so far? That's been good. I think we talked about from the start of the season, effort and competitiveness have been good. Um, you know, it's not a bad thing to have these type of chippy games where, um, you know, we had a big lead. They came back and physicality, we had to increase it to match theirs and, uh, you know, went back and forth a little bit. But that's who Chicago is. They're going to keep playing. They've been down a number of times and fought their way back in. And then, uh, you know, I don't mind that part of it at all. It's good that guys are battling, uh, getting competitive. We're all playing for something and uh, they're not backing down. So uh, that guy takes a hit. Teammates are going to stand up for each other. and. Yeah, you've seen about three or four of those now, and it's a, it's a good thing in my opinion. How oh, the bench guys? Yeah. yeah, it was huge. They, they were great. Um, you know, Jock was 17 and 12, five assists. Jeff with the 14, and then Aaron with the five or 15. And so everybody else came in and contributed. Jay Chan um, and Reggie as well. So uh, really outplayed their bench. And you know, like you said, when Dylan goes out, he, he was having a great game himself. Um, and Jabari struggling with the foul trouble. It was great to have those guys come in and make an impact. And so um, you've seen it all year. The guys taking advantage of opportunities, whether it be foul trouble or injury. And uh, it was a huge night for us to outplay them off the bench tonight. It's been time this season that you all a large lead, lose a lead, and then end up losing a game. Can you talk about the resiliency of your players tonight to be able to come back from that adversity? Yeah, that's why I said it was a good you know, you know, barometer for our growth. I think um, at times, you know, go back to the Clipper game, our last loss, uh, you know, giving up a 20 point lead and kind of started to snowball and we couldn't get it back. And so tonight it was you know, a little bit of a yo yo, but, um, you know, losing that lead you know, pretty quickly, not coming out our best in the third quarter and then kind of bouncing back up, up nine, up 14, show good resiliency. And so, um, you know, proud of our guys for that. I love, uh, like I said, their competitiveness from day one. And so um, it just builds character and, and you have to go through these things to really improve as a team. And so it's good to, uh, win it this way. You know, we've done it the other way, like you said, lost, or we've come back from deficits and, and won games, but to kind of go back and forth is, it shows our growth. Jock is earning some increasing playing time. Is his ability to put the ball on the floor, show some touch, make some passes, is that valuable to you instead of just, you know, a big body out there? Yeah, of course. He's, um, you know, our guards draw so much attention uh, in the pick and roll and him in the pocket with the mid range pull up or floater or finding guys has been big. And not only that, obviously, on the offensive glass, uh, he's a lob threat there, so he can do a lot of different things. And so, um, yeah, his, his impact is. Uh, pace and all the effort he plays with is huge, especially with Albie going out. But it was a nice compliment when they were together. And um, now it's a different, a little bit different with obviously Jabari just starting. Jeff coming as a pick and pop big to have that impact roller that kind of um, takes care of things in the middle is big for us. Talk about the game. Oh, go ahead. You guys won seven in a row, I think, eight and one in the month of March. Um, for you as a coach, what goes into preaching that consistency? You know, because at one point it seemed like, you know, things wasn't as good, but how are you able to just continue just preaching your 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 your, your strategies and stuff? I think you, you just see incremental growth throughout the year. Um, you know, it's not it's not going to happen overnight, but you saw us come out really good and then kind of plateau, like I said, in the middle of the season. And we just wanted to get back to what we did well early. And so, um, it, you know, you might not see it in the stat sheet or, or even game by game, but when you watch the film, you see a little uh, less mistakes by certain guys or recognition of, of certain things happening. And so we understand if we can get everybody on the same page and, and put that together more consistently, um, this could be the outcome. And so, um, you know, confidence is a big part of it and guys getting opportunities have stepped up with injuries and um, you know like I said I love our professionalism as far as guys staying ready all year and so yeah good to get back to playing good basketball and now you want to ride that momentum and just keep tightening the rope and, and doing it a little bit more every game. Dylan 